The China National Petroleum Corporation (CNPC) simplified Chinese: Zhang Guo Shi Yu Tian Ran Qi Ji Tuan Gong Si traditional Chinese: Zhang Guo Shi Yu Tian Ran Qi Ji Tuan Gong Si pinyin: Zhang Guo Shi Yu Tian Ran Qi Ji Tuan Gong Si is a major national oil and gas corporation of China PR and one of the largest integrated energy groups in the world. Its headquarters are in Dongcheng District, Beijing. CNPC was ranked fourth in 2017 Fortune Global 500, a global ranking of the largest corporations by revenue. Topic corporate structure CNPC is the government-owned parent company of publicly listed PetroChina, which was created on November 5, 1999 as part of the restructuring of CNPC. In the restructuring, CNPC injected into PetroChina most of the assets and liabilities of CNPC relating to its hydrocarbon exploration and production, refining and marketing, chemicals and natural gas businesses. CNPC and PetroChina develop overseas assets through a joint venture, the CNPC Exploration and Development Company which is 50% owned by PetroChina. In March 2014, CNPC Chairman Joe Jipping announced that CNPC would be opening six business units to private investors. History Unlike the Chinese Petroleum Corporation, which was relocated to Taiwan with the retreat of the Republic of China following the Communist Revolution in 1949, CNPC can be traced from the beginning as a governmental department of the Communist Government of China. In 1949, the Chinese government formed a fuel industry ministry dedicated to the management of fuel. In January 1952 a division of the fuel ministry was formed to manage petroleum exploration and mining, called the Chief Petroleum Administration Bureau. In July 1955 a new ministry was created to replace the fuel industry ministry, called the Ministry of Petroleum. From 1955 to 1969, approximately four oil fields were found in four areas in Qinghai, Heilongjiang, Daqing Oil Field, Bohai Bay and Songliao Basin. CNPC was created on 17 September 1988, when the government decided to create a state-owned company to handle all petroleum activities in China and disbanded the Ministry of Petroleum. CNPC's international operations began in 1993. The CNPC subsidiary SAPET signed a service contract with the government of Peru to operate Block 7 in the Talara Province Basin. This was followed by an oil contract with the government of Sudan to manage Block 1, two quarters in the Muglad oilfield. In August 2005 it was announced that CNPC agreed to buy the Alberta-based Petrokazakhstan for $4.18 billion, then the largest overseas acquisition by a Chinese company. The acquisition went through on 26 October 2005 after a Canadian court turned down an attempt by Lukoil to block the sale. In 2006 67% of shares were sold from the parent company to PetroChina In June 1997, the company bought a 60.3% stake in the Aktobe Oil Company of Kazakhstan, and in July 1997 CNPC won an oil contract for the Intercampo Oilfield and East Caracols Oilfield in Venezuela. In July 1998, the government restructured the company in accordance with the upstream and downstream principle of the oil industry, and CNPC spun off most of its domestic assets into a separate company, PetroChina. On 5 November 2007, HK listed PetroChina was listed as an A share in the Shanghai Stock Exchange. In July 2013, CNPC and ENI signed a $4.2 billion deal to acquire a 20% stake in a Mozambique offshore natural gas block. In June 2014, the head of a key China national petroleum subsidiary was recalled to Beijing and fell from public view. Replacement of China National Petroleum's top representative in Canada was announced in July. Operations CNPC holds proven reserves of 3.7 billion barrels of oil equivalent. In 2007, CNPC produced 54 billion cubic meters of natural gas. 
CNPC has 30 international exploration and production projects with operations in Azerbaijan, Canada, Iran, Indonesia, Myanmar, Oman, Peru, Sudan, Niger, Thailand, Turkmenistan, and Venezuela. Many of the company's exploration projects are carried out by the Great Wall Drilling Company GWDC, a wholly owned drilling services company. In 2018, the company announced it's building natural gas storage facilities with a total capacity of 55.6 billion CUM in the northern Henan province to ease supply bottlenecks in peak winter season. China has accelerated the construction of underground gas storage facilities due to the challenges faced in transporting gas last winter, when logistical issues forced buyers to truck LNG thousands of kilometers from import terminals to consumption areas. The country has started an ambitious program to convert large numbers of coal-fired boilers to cleaner natural gas, to curb smog and pollution. Iraq. In March 2009, CNPC began development of Adab, an oil field in Wasit Governorate holding a modest 1 billion barrels, becoming the first significant foreign investors in Iraq. The contract is a renegotiated version of a 1997 agreement between China and Iraq under Saddam Hussein. The project progressed despite security problems with local farmers. Dozens of farmers complained of damage to property because of work on the site and Iraqi oil officials claimed thievery from the oil site by local farmers. Adhab is not expected to be a major profit center, earning the company a projected 1% profit, but the field was seen as an entry strategy into Iraq. Following Adhab, CNPC obtained a production contract during the 2009-2010 Iraqi oil services contracts tender to develop the much larger Rumela field with joint venture partner BP, which contains an estimated 17.8 billion barrels 2.83 times 109 cubic meters of oil. It is expected that crude oil production from Rumela will expand by 10% by the end of 2010 once the BP PLC, CNPC consortium takes over development of the field in June 2010. A contract was also awarded to a consortium led by CNPC 37.5%, including Total 18.75% and Petronas 18.75% for the Halfaya field in the south of Iraq, which contains an estimated 4.1 billion barrels 650 million cubic meters of oil. Iran. CNPC became increasingly involved in development of Iranian oil fields following Western sanctions that targeted the Iranian oil and gas sectors leading many European energy companies such as Shell Oil, Repsol, etc. to shut down operations in Iran. The CNPC along with Sinopec has been involved in various projects relating to Iran oil, gas development. As of 2011, CNPC has been developing Iran's age-old Masjid Soleiman oil field, the oldest oil field of the Middle East, together with Iranian counterpart NIOC in a deal worth $200 million. Production from this particular oil field was expected to increase in 2011 from 2,500 barrels 400 cubic meters a day to 25,000 barrels 4, cubic meters after the completion of the first phase, and to 55 million barrels d 8,700,000 cubic meters d following the completion of phase 2 of the project. Syria. CNPC with Indian state oil firm, ONGC created a joint venture to acquire minority stakes ranging from about 33.3% to 38% in several mature Syrian oil and natural gas properties. The combined entity was a notable instance of cooperation between two state oil firms that regularly competed for assets around the world. Kazakhstan. CNPC is heavily involved in the development of Kazakh oil after the acquisition of Alberta-based PetroKazakhstan, a company with all operations in Kazakhstan. The company was purchased for $4.18 billion. Political resistance in Kazakhstan to the deal was placated by the sale of a minority stake in PetroKazakhstan by CNPC to Kazmanigas, the Kazakh state-owned oil company. <laughs> 
Topic: <inaudible> Uzbekistan <inaudible> 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 In 2006, CNPC formed an international consortium with state-run Uzbekneftegas, Lukoil Overseas, Petronas, and Korea National Oil Corporation to explore and develop oil and gas fields in the Aral Sea. <laughs> Xinjiang Pipeline In October 2004, CNPC began construction of a pipeline from the Middle East to Xinjiang. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Afghanistan. In December 2011, Afghanistan signed a deal with CNPC for the development of oil blocks in the AMU Darya Basin, a project expected to earn billions of dollars over two decades. The deal covers drilling and a refinery in the northern provinces of Sar e Pol and Faryab and is the first international oil production agreement entered into by the Afghan government for several decades. South Sudan CNPC is a major investor in South Sudan's oil sector. The company is major stockholder in Petrodar Consortiums, the Great Wall Drilling Company, a subsidiary of the China National Petroleum Company, invested $700 million in drilling 57 wells in Sudan over a three-year period starting in 1997. In 2010, the company was awarded a contract by the Sudanese Petroleum Ministry to build five oil rigs for $75.5 million. Russia In May 2014, a 30-year deal between Russia's Gazprom and China National Petroleum Corporation CNPC, which was 10 years in the making was estimated worth $400 billion. The agreement was signed at a summit in Shanghai and is expected to deliver some 38 billion cubic meters of natural gas a year, starting around 2018, to China's burgeoning economy. New Zealand CNPC operated in New Zealand as CCDC NZ drilling and had one drilling rig, a triple stand DC rig named Rig 43. CCDC NZ started work over drilling operations in the Kapuni gas fields of South Taranaki, New Zealand in late 2012 for tight gas. The rig completed the Kapuni drilling campaign of four wells for STOS Shell Todd Oil Services in August 2013. Its next drilling project commenced August 2013 for Tag Oil with one well successfully drilled at Chiel Sea of a depth of just under 5,000 meters. The rig was then stood down pending appeals for the next stage of a drilling campaign for Tag Oil in March 2014. Due to the periods involved it was decided to end its drilling campaign in New Zealand. Rig 43 was then dismantled and shipped to other overseas locations and no longer operates in New Zealand. Topic: <laughs> Accidents and Incidents. Topic: <laughs> 2003 gas leak in Chongqing. On 23 December 2003, a gas blowout occurred at the Luahia No. 16H gas well. 243 people died, 2,142 were hospitalized. Jilin <inaudible> <inaudible> Chemical Plant In 2005, there were explosions at a CNPC-owned petrochemical plant causing six deaths, a mass evacuation, and a massive oil spill over the Songhua River. <laughs> Gas pipeline explosion in Sichuan A gas pipeline exploded on 20 January 2006 in Sichuan. Reportedly, nine were killed and nearly 40 injured. Topic: 2006 gas leak in Chongqing. A leak occurred on the 25th of March 2006 in the Luahia Number no. Two gas well. 
The third attempt six days after the blowout succeeded, 15,000 were evacuated. Chishui River diesel spill In 2009 a CNPC pipeline burst, spilling 150 cubic meters 5, of diesel oil into the Chishui River in Shaanxi Province. Xingang <inaudible> port oil spill In July 2010, two pipelines exploded at an oil storage depot belonging to China National Petroleum Corp near Dalian's Xingang Harbor in Liaoning Province which spilled an estimated 1,500 tons of crude into the sea. The worst of the spill initially covered 180 square kilometers 69 square miles. Suspension of operations in Chad The operations of a CNPC subsidiary in Chad were entirely suspended in August 2013 by the country's government after it violated environmental standards while drilling for crude oil in the south of the country. See also List of oil spills CNPC HK Petroleum industry in China Brazil-China relations <laughs>